Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, my voice is a little bit funny because it's morning for me here. Um, uh, I have looked back at Patreon messages. I've asked guys why are they there, why they've, why they've joined Patreon and I got an inspiration for this pick a card. So today we're going to be looking at what is it that requires your focus and maybe how you can get there, okay? For my, see my intention here is how can you improve yourself without rushing you to do too much self-work because sometimes people get a little bit obsessed you know this is wrong with me or that's wrong with me i need to do better this and that and that cr can create actually opposite from balance you know it can create a bit of chaos so i want you to take these messages with an open heart see how you can apply it, apply it to your life in order to get to where you want to be pile number one is on your left Pile number three is on your right, and I'll see you in timestamps. Hey, pile number one people, so let's see. Where could your focus lie? Right now, what needs attention? We're gonna pull more cards now. Let me pull from the oil essential oil oliko cards i cannot i always forget this name of this deck i just call it self-care deck okay i'm gonna pull a couple of cards and we're gonna start talking in a minute and i'm also pulling from ocean oracle deck Okay, let's look at these. I'm gonna lay them all out first. Mm. So this is your main card, okay? Right, let me adjust you a little bit. You can see better. Okay. So, overall, for a lot of you, it seems like you might find yourself almost like um, questioning your path. If that is you who's questioning your path or questioning how to improve your path, this is definitely your pile because I know this can be quite specific and maybe not for all of you are going to resonate. But overall, we have motivation, options, destiny, and total submersion. So what I'm taking from this straight away is that some of you just need to know that you're on the right track. Um, and that's where your focus should or could lie right now. As I always say, filter out messages. Um, since we have total submersion here and we have the motivation card, it seems like for you guys, all you need to do right now is to take action because you're exactly where you need to be, but maybe some of you are either a bit stuck, you know, in this um, in this cycle of, I don't know how to, once I decide how I can do it perfectly, that, that's when I'm gonna act. And um, in this spread, you're just being asked to give something that you care about that's connected to your path, your destiny, it can be job, it can be relationship, really, it can be so many things, a hundred percent. And it's saying, then you'll be able to see how everything turns out to be. Some of you are making choices regarding your career with an options card here it says, consider the career possibilities that are open to you. And with this, I'm seeing there, there are more possibilities and more opportunities that some of you allow yourself to see. It can be a bit of, you know, uh, self-sabotage or, or procrastination type of vibe over here in panel number one but I think you kind of set here all you gotta do is maybe some of you've lost motivation is to start doing that's it doesn't matter how big it is how small it is it's saying let's take the next step and everything it's almost like you then will be sucked into this vortex of motivation um, you will be sucked into this energy of like, I can do this since I've started doing it now. You know, sometimes for people, especially after holiday, maybe um, if that's your case specifically, it can be difficult to find 
uh, motivation, strength, you know, want and need to start working again. This is that kind of a vibe here. Um, the overall vibe of the pile is like, you are good. That's what you need to know. You are good. Just a little bit kicking the ass is needed here from your own self in order to go and get what you want. Okay. Now, motivation card as a trigger statement, it says, I don't know where to start. True statement says, I take action now. You will find clarity and the ability to create now. This is your time to make things happen. Total submersion, it comes up to number five over here. It's telling us that there is change coming already for you. It says, don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, interest or goal. Give it 100% of your energy and you may find what your life has been lacking. It's more about doing for pile number one. It's saying you don't need to, you know, sit and have the perfect structure, perfect plan for yourself or know the outcome. It's saying your only issue or blockage, however you want to call it, is action itself. And, you know, it's fine to take time off. Don't get me wrong. But know where you stand now. Are you taking some time off because it's needed for you? Because your body or mind needs to rest? Or have you been in that phase, you know, for a little bit too long where you're like, mm, I don't know how to. It's saying you don't need to know how to. You are walking towards your path, towards destiny. You're already on it. All it's requiring you to do is to take the next step. Okay? Right, so once you do that, pile number one, what can you expect? I'm going to read from Super Lunaris deck. I just want a couple of cards. Since we also have a lot of blues here, um, using your throat chakra, using your, your voice, it's important here. Um, so I don't know if it's connected to your work and that's the most important thing. I'm also seeing writing for some of you. It's saying spread what, release what's in that brain of yours through your mouth. Speak it. Speak it. Dive deep. What can you expect once you do that? You have the King of Cups. You're falling in love in some kind of venture here. And I know, I think I know what it is now for you. Some people say if they have an idea for a project or they have a person presented in their life, deep down, if they feel like this is going to be something big, something great, something that I will love, something that my heart wanted all this time. Um, almost like this defense um, can come up. Um, it is self-sabotage energy here where you feel like, oh, there is resistance, but why am I resisting this? So resistance to happiness, that's what I'm seeing some of you might be fighting with, you know? I do not want to be afraid to have it all because maybe some of you, whenever something happens in your life that is great and awesome, maybe deep down you're thinking like, when is, th when is this going to end? And this is saying once we recognize that, just take it for those who resonate with that. Once we are recognize that, that's when we can start shifting this around instead of closing your yourself um, from this happiness, from what your heart desires, desired all this time, uh, it's saying open your arms and allow all of it to flow through you and allow more to come. Mm -hmm. King, of, King of Cups, the lovers. I also want to say this is the work situation. Um that destiny represents through just doing and being in your work you I don't know how this is um, happening for you but you might even open yourself up to many great relationships if this is a relationship 
reading it's saying once you just start doing it stop overthinking stop knowing exactly how everything's going to turn out to be that's when you connect into your heart and you connect into this other person more and creating this deeper bond and with that stake also there is healing happening here I keep hearing sometimes we just have to allow things to happen without knowing how when or the outcome okay yeah and that's your devil reverse here um let's take a look at this devil this devil is a representation of um recognizing the habits recognizing the habits that are keeping you um i don't want to say stuck because they're not that are keeping you tied a little bit you know that that resistance that i talked about it's here There's an opportunity to make that devil your bitch. <laughs> That's the way that it's coming through, okay? Who is who is the powerful one here? Hmm? Who is the powerful one here? That's you closing that heart off, right? So whenever this um, devil appears, metaphorically, it's saying that's when you shut off. You're like, I don't know what to do. But really, what's happening here, this is your true self, King of Cups, open. Heart wide open. You know what song um, I remembered right now? It's by Creed, Arms Wide Open. And the name Creed is spelled, it's um, C-R-E-E-D. So if you wanna listen to that song or read the lyrics, I think you'd benefit from that. Okay, once you do that, what can you expect? There are so many things. Uh, that you can expect in the future here that somehow are sometimes overshadowed by overshadowed by this devil it's saying recognize that it's there but you do not have to um think that that's gonna happen all over again i split the deck and we have the empress here because the empress knows what she deserves and the empress gets everything that she wants look at the colors in this card there are so many beautiful things waiting for you out there it's saying yes with your options see what you want to do next but overall you the only the only bump on the road here is finding strength for the next step without giving yourself too much bullshit in your own headspace okay can be easily said, um, hardly done, but it does take practice in order to um, make that devil your bitch, as I said before, okay? Because there is some kind of a dream, like a big, big thing that you're wishing to happen or how you want your life to be, which is achievable for you more than you think. And I think your main your main message here that you came to pick up is that it's okay to have that devil next to you okay but just as long as a devil doesn't make you close off from all opportunities that are waiting for you out there and that is you connecting to your own self finding yourself again this is you seeing your own beauty and knowing exactly what you deserve and going for it okay so i hope this made sense pal number one and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number two, let's look at what we have here for you. But before I'm gonna pull from a couple of more decks, one of them is going to be essential oracle cards. Essential oracle, no, essential oil oracle cards. Always fuck this up, man. I'm so sorry, I always screw this up. <laughs> That's why I call it the um, self care deck. That's how I call it. Let's look at this. If my voice is funny, it's because it's morning for me. Let me volume up the music a little bit for you all. And we'll also be pulling from the Ocean Oracle deck. What requires your focus? What requires your focus, pile number two? And we're gonna start with these. So, 
this is gonna be your main card okay you have the uh, balance you have the builder you have the self-worth card and you have love where you are oh this is awesome okay let's look at this For a lot of you, this is to do with comparison or this doesn't have to be necessarily com that you're comparing yourself to um, other people and how they are. I think this is mostly caused by your own self. You are your own, um, can I, it's going to sound a bit harsh, but you are your own enemy sometimes and what do you imagine a balanced life or what do you imagine balanced um, relationship or balanced um, financial situation i think sometimes you you create such an image for yourself how you have to be and what you have to have achieved by this time that it's hard to achieve that balance for yourself it's hard to achieve it for anyone really because it's you require so much from yourself and it's great to push yourself right and test your limits and all of that stuff um, do that but it's saying no one you are a little bit too harsh on yourself some of you I'm seeing maybe there is a connection to guilt sometimes you don't know why you're feeling guilty um, for little things uh, some of you are thinking about going and building and doing so much where that's when you're thrown off balance because whatever you're doing already, it seems to be good enough. Um, do you see yourself as good enough though? That's the question. You have, you have love where you are card. Um, comes up to number six. Maybe for some of you, that's an important number. It says, use your sensitivity to know when to act. Connect your heart to your head when determining what you would like. And again, head and a heart, this is a perfect balance, knowing when to use what. Do I need to use my heart for this matter? Do I need to use my head for this matter, right? What does this require me to do? Um, this is a very open card, the way I see it. Overall, anytime I pull it, I know that someone needs to know that wherever they are is good enough already. Um, what I mean by that, even if there are there is lack here, lack there, maybe your home situation is not the best, doesn't matter what it is. It's saying we need a little bit more time to be grateful for where we are now. So it's almost like someone, you know, someone's living their life, but they, they keep jumping from phase to another phase, another phase where they never really have time to purely like sit with themselves and say, look, you know, where, where I'm at now, my old self, would be very proud to see where I am but what I'm thinking about now is how can it get even better and I don't even have time to process everything that I have right now that's what kind of energy we have here uh, for others of you you're being asked now this is a bit of a different story you're being asked to recognize that you are the one who ha who can build the life that you want for yourself you do not need to rely on other people. You can ask for help along the way, but you and your body, your mind is capable enough to build anything that you want for yourself, okay? It says your inability to build and create brings you deep sense of accomplishment. For some of you, you literally need to use a bit of more, more your hands. I don't know what it, this is to do with. Maybe creatively, you need to just create something with your hands and it helps you to connect better your mind and your heart and it balances everything out if that's the case it's as simple as doing some kind of arts and crafts for yourself doesn't matter what that's gonna bring you just be in where you are self-worth card says trigger statement I am disgusting true statement says I am a miracle please be gentle and love yourself Provide your body mind with what it truly needs to carry you on your journey. Self-care is needed here for sure. Self-care, um, realizing your accomplishments so far and realizing that you're the one 
who's going to create everything for herself in the future um, with a when I say help of spirit here um, you highly guided here and sometimes maybe you lose that guidance you feel that you lose that guidance but really you're not you're not losing it you may be just losing the connection with your heart or with yourself and once that happens that's when you think you are on your own which here it's saying that is not true so let's see if you take no I want more information though on this pile let's talk about that balance here double eight see and look how similar these two people are see look at their poses the strength and the builder it's literally the same energy here so maybe right now you're working on making your body stronger or maybe you need to uh, focus on your body and give it as much nourishment as you can because your body is the one that makes everything happen for you it seems like you're being prepared for this phase in life where you're going to be either busy or you're going to be very focused on things that require a lot of your energy and your body needs not only to be nourished more but also needs to be acknowledged for what it does You're a very strong group of people here. By saying recognize. When by being this strong person, you are neglecting yourself sometimes. Because strong people like to do things for others, right? They have strength for three, three more people. But that's when they can find themselves in this, you know, rut. Where they keep doing, doing, doing and they don't really need anyone to you know um, give something back to them because they know that they can do it for themselves i'm talking about you by saying but you actually do because that also would improve your self-worth so having a better balance between doing something for others and doing for yourself has to be achieved That's slow. Okay, that's flying all over the place. That card, wait. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. You're building heritage, pile number two. You are building heritage and you're building big things. Okay, in the future, if you're struggling financially right now or you feel um, unstable, it's saying that's nothing for you to worry about because it's going to sort itself out because you've done already so much for yourself and for others for now just love where you are because behind the scenes what's happening here is this i'm seeing a massive castle being built okay so you're laying out brick by brick by brick um to where you're going to be future wise and the foundations will be very very strong so if this is the family dynamic, it's saying everything's gonna turn out great. If it's a financial situation, it's saying do not worry about that. If it's anything to do with heritage, it's saying it's going to turn out great. So do not worry about it. Right now, you need to work a little bit more on your own perfectionism and your own self-worth and how that impacts you maybe that's why because you don't feel like you are a miracle here and you are original and you're unique that's why maybe you keep thinking about the next thing that i need to do or improve and you forget to love where you are yeah there's so many more op opportunities for you out there guys okay all you need to know is to treasure yourself a little bit more okay you keep fighting your fighters your warriors here it's saying warriors need to rest as well. Warriors don't need to be so harsh on themselves. Okay, so give yourself that time. And sometimes act like a child and it's okay. Go and explore. Be curious. Be an intern. 
allow yourself not to know and not to be ashamed for that a bit less self-judgment would be needed here in pile number two okay so i hope this made sense and i'm going to catch you in the next one bye for now Hey, pile number three people. So let's see what we got for you before that. I do wanna pull from two more decks and we're gonna be reading them. The first deck I'm using is Essential Oil or Oracle Cards. We're gonna pull only one card from this deck. And let's see what we got, pile number threes. I'll also pull from the Ocean Oracle deck. And let's look at them. You have Elevate. This is gonna be your main card, okay? You have Travel. You have Trust. And you have push to surface number 27 that comes up to nine maybe those numbers are important mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense together with a travel card it says push to the surface you may have become complacent you might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy become aware of the dynamics of your life this is a lot to do with movement um, for you guys what needs to be either focused on or improved or needs your attention is actual movement diversity with eight of wands in this deck it's called travel maybe you feel and it says here complacent maybe you feel like you need a to explore new environments and I think that would be your focus. Explore new environments, explore new places, um, go on a trip, doesn't matter how far away from home it is, how, how close it is, even taking a walk around your neighborhood, it's saying, we gotta move around. And that's something that would help you, I think, to balance your energy out a little bit more, because it needs, you also need to know that where, whatever this travel is for you, whatever this movement, diversity of lifestyle, or whatever this is for you you will be supported because some of you don't have trust in this venture of some sort and you're like i don't know how that's gonna go i don't know maybe i'm better i'll better stay here where i'm at but i think for a lot of you bored already boredom um, is the thing and i think or staying in the same place and doing the same thing all over again is something that is not allowing you to feel that you are full of energy i think for a lot of people in pile number three you feel at your peak you feel the best when you're either busy or when you keep changing environments okay and it's not to say that you need to keep moving every single year it's more like i'm out and about type of energy i'm busy i'm you know hustling and i'm mingling i'm doing all these things or i'm meeting new people constantly that's something for you to look at i think even if you're gonna do that online when it comes to new connections it's saying get out there to the world because that's something that's going to allow you to feel that your battery is full. Trust card is saying, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. It could be connected to career, but it doesn't have to be. Now, Elevate card says, trigger statement, I feel so low. True statement says, I persevere. Re release the worry and fear and allow confidence and trust. Isn't that funny that these two stand next to one another? Trust and strength to take you to your goal. Yeah, for some of you, it's, you're super doubtful. And listen, in life, no one really knows how everything is going to turn out to be, okay? So you have to be your own guiding light over here, pile number three. Even if you're gonna screw up, even if the outcome is not gonna be how you want it to be, it's saying, who cares, we're living life. Okay, you don't want to be living a boring life. That's what I'm seeing here for sure. You want experiences. You want to um, slip up and fall and then get up and laugh about it, right? How are you gonna take it? I think um, there is a bit of a fear of failure when it comes to pile number three. I think once we recognize that, we know that a lot of successful people who are on top of their game, they have 
screwed up many many times there isn't much for you to take from comfort anymore i'm seeing pile number three um, there always has to be balance with it though as you all know i keep talking about that constantly uh, so say you out and about and you travel places or you you visit different cities you know for a whole month and you still want to come back home right because you need to recuperate your energy you need to balance yourself out there is no one way or the other it has to be a bit of both but for you guys um, being in the same thing doing the same thing all over again and not seeing any changes is something that can make you feel even a little bit depressed i'm seeing here and you're like oh this is boring it's saying it's okay you're unique like that okay you don't have to go by anyone's standards you don't have to you know settle if you if you're not ready to settle even if you're 50 years old you still want to do your thing you want to be single you want to go for wine and dine with your girlfriends or boyfriends it's saying that's your way of doing things okay you do not i keep hearing stalling uh what is the song man that that's on my mind now oh i hope i'll remember mm. one second i'm gonna google it I'm gonna read a bit of lyrics if I'll find the song. Yes, it's by um, Skrillex. So the way you, you probably a lot of you guys know this, um, the way it's spelled is S K R I L L E X and Zoo. And the way it's, it's um, spelled is Z H U. The lyrics goes. Uh, why? Why I heard that in my mind? I have no idea. Um, let me just call <laughs> what I heard is the uh, chorus and it goes why is she fucking with the ballers she just wants them dollars I don't know why this came up in my mind but I kind of love it this song for you guys this is literally like your energy uh, know what it is when I call her she just working hard she want it all she working hard for the money she want it all you want a lot of things to happen in your life and this vibe of this song it literally describes it for me but it, this is quite a powerful beat anytime this song comes up i'm like hyped up man um but at the same time you gotta know that it's okay to slip up for panel number three that's all you gotta know um go out there experience life um screw up get yourself up again keep going saying um, it's all about balance imagine how boring your life would be if everything was always turning out right to how you see it right or the best outcomes that would be very boring wouldn't it okay let's see so what will happen once you do that once you trust your ventures more once you trust that your decisions are correct once you are a little bit more peaceful with failure because everyone is afraid of failure that's normal you have strength you have ten of swords there's that fear of failure right what if this happens? What if that happens? What if I screw up? What, I, what, what if this is not going to go the way, the way I want it to? I'm saying, okay, there's got to be a new goal, a new idea, a new beginning, something maybe even bigger for you. And you take those experiences with you and you're like, mm -mm, I know better, bitch. I've been there before, right? With a strength card. But since you have 10 of swords and a strength next to it and a star, it's saying, how big is this comparing to these two? And that's your boss ass bitch <laughs> sitting sitting um wherever you sit in i don't want to be too specific here but you're a boss okay so i think for a lot of you maybe you um are trying to find ways how to become your own boss or how to be you know this um top person remember how i started talking about super successful people and um, that's how i see this emperor in this deck you know she's like 
how can I help you? Been there, done that, got burned. Now I have experience and not exactly how to make my wishes, my dreams come true and how to get to where I want to be. I have immense power, strength and trust in my failures here. So push to the surface and elevate. And I hope all your ventures are going to be exciting, pile number three, because I'm sure it will. <laughs> and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now.